how did you feel when you one you knew that it was going to be on top boy and seeing it for yourself to be honest is someone kind of kept it a secret from me until i kind of saw it oh <laughs> you can see me a bit more if you want i can't like, i can't i don't know the words okay okay sorry <laughs> i just want you to tell them what you told me Hi guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Gallery Talks with Morgan. I am here with the lovely IQ the Prince. In the flesh. In the flesh, for real. <laughs> um, we're going to jump straight into it actually. I'm not even going to play no games. Yeah. I'm going to pick a playlist that you're going to create for me. Yes. And you got to sing me back the five songs that you pick for this playlist. Yeah. Um, and the playlist that we're going to pick this week is a bedroom playlist. Oh. Okay. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I knew, You knew it was coming though. You knew it was coming. I did, you know. I did, I did. Um. So, yeah. If we go straight into the first song, what's the first song? And the first song that someone's going to click onto your playlist and say, yeah, this is the playlist that I'm listening to. Um, I need to sing it, right? What's so you can tell me at first and then you can sing it to me. I forgot who sings it, but I'm going to sing it anyways. Mm -hmm. And I feel the people will know it. Okay, um, go for it. Let me break it down and show you what your sex is like. Mm. That song. Oh. Marcus Houston? Yes. yes. Marcus Houston. In the back, that. in yes. the back. You can sing me a bit more if you want. I can't, I can't, I don't know the words past Okay, that. okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to out you. Mm. And why did you pick that as your first song? I don't know, it's just like, it's a set the mood type of song. Mm. You know? Mm. Or she set the mood. The one that's getting you in the mood. Yeah, like, you know, you have someone over, you set the mood with that song there. Mm -hmm. you know what time it is. Okay. That's it, right? <laughs> Do you know what, actually? I wanted to talk about something that we briefly spoke about earlier um, that I definitely wanted to mention because uh, you said about your song Righteous, is it yes. called? Righteous. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> when he was um, performing for us, we was all in the front vibing, of course, because... It was amazing. Um, and I just want you to tell them what you told me. Um, when we was making the song, we kind of, it's going to be, it's, it, sounds, it sounds bad. Is it really bad? No, Is wait. Is it too bad? No, it's not too bad, but okay, like. Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, Lord. It was, just, it's, you gave me inspiration. Anyways, so we got the song kind of from this gospel song. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was like, <laughs> it was a worship song. We just kind of changed the melodies a bit and yeah, yeah, some of the yeah. words and made it a bit more naughty but mm -hmm. I don't want to tell people that I got it from a gospel song but no I hear it though because it's <laughs> you said to you spoke to obviously Johnny before and yeah. you said that um you you do like like you listen to gospel yeah, music yeah I listen I think it's just that because I listen so much gospel music that I kind of just get influenced just mm -hmm. by anyways just anyways just get yeah, influenced yeah, yeah. when I listen to those type of songs yeah and who's the who's like your most like most played gospel artist at the moment uh, Victor Thompson Victor Thompson yeah yeah and yeah. that's what I mean like it's not obviously it may sound bad but it's I understand what you're saying yeah. like you take a lot of inspiration from from different genres and gospel can be one of them no, um, so I, I get it we right. get it we get it it's a safe space here <laughs> yeah, right. um, let's go into the second song um, so we've just listened to wait remind me of the last song's name Marquis Houston the, the yes. Marquise Houston song. Yes. And then now we're trying to transition. Where's the vibe going here? Um, From there. Can I say one thing? I used to have a Trey Songs playlist. Now I have an IQ playlist. <laughs> the, yeah. Your own playlist? Yeah. Oh, we love that. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, saying that, mm -hmm. Trey Songs, Sex Ain't Better Than Love. Mm -hmm. That's the second song. The floor is yours. Sex Ain't Better Than Love. The words ain't coming to my head, but that's the words. That's I know the lines. You know what is I know the lines for all the songs I'm gonna sing. Don't worry, so I know the first lines. Okay, okay, yes. okay, that's fine. Um, and what is it about that song that you like so much? Depends on. <laughs> depends on who I, like. Oh yeah, it depends on what I'm doing or who I'm with. Mm. Cause you know, it's sex it's songs with sex ain't better than love. So it depends on okay. if I'm actually making love <laughs> with somebody or yeah, I'm just yeah. having casual. Mm -hmm. you know? And like, obviously, you said that you listened or you had a Trey songs playlist. Yeah. Um, did you take a lot of inspiration from Trey songs, or who were the artists that kind of insp inspired you with your music? Yeah, definitely in the R and B take. Like, if adding certain R and B feels to my music, mm -hmm. so it's like I make dance also to 
kind of put that little R&B flow I put like yeah I just added like some of that R&B flavor that he mm-hmm. gave so yeah, he definitely yeah. a bit of an inspiration in that sense and who else would you say kind of inspires your music maybe let's go who inspired your music when you first started and who's inspiring your music now so let's start when you first started it might cross over but uh. This might have nothing to do with my music, though. It <laughs> like, doesn't matter. Personally, um, let's go with now. Now is that easier? Yeah. Let's go with now. Now I would say like get inspiration from probably Dexter Daps because I've been Dexter in studio because I've been in studio with him as well. Like mm-hmm. I see how he works and how he um creates his music and it's just like wow. That's crazy. It's That's like, crazy. Dexter wow. Dexter Daps used to be one of my favorites when I was younger and my mom always used to tell me to turn him off because of obviously the lyrics. I was probably <laughs> like 15, 16. But yeah, that's um yeah. that's a big one. And how is it like being in the studio with him? You just you know, as a younger artist it's just good to watch. Mm. That's it. Like I will just go to a session and just watch instead of even doing nothing. Just watch. Just yeah. so I can see what he does what, how he does it like because mm-hmm. you, you hear the music so you, you want to always figure out like how did he make this or yeah, such or something yeah. like that yeah. then, now when I'm in studio like when I go back in the studio even my manager will be like no we got you know how Dex did it in the studio where he went <gasps> we do it like yeah, that yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. we take inspiration from the sessions mm-hmm. yes. and how does his kind of studio sessions differ from yours and like what, what kind of inspirations have you taken so far he buns weed <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. So I guess that that's a lot more of a creative process. Yeah, than so, that. <laughs> so so hundred percent. So see, because I don't, I feel like he's he's such in like a he's weed spray. He's in yeah, his, yeah, re- yeah, he's in yeah, his yeah. realm. Yeah. So, so for me, it's different. I to get into a little uh, spiritual realm with mm, my music. Mm. I've got. A, go back to gospel yeah okay see so it's full circle full it circle. is actually full circle let's get into the third song um probably dexter daps twinkle dexter daps twinkle okay um she opened up like a window mm. put in a ceiling like a shingle hey pretty pussy does a twinkle so yeah that one that yeah i like great. that one that's one of yes. my favorites if i had a playlist yes. like that i don't so where are you at at this moment of being an artist as young you know that's kind of just just having fun with my music and i'm mm-hmm. um, trying to build up a fan base that just will just listen to anything i do drop yeah, so yeah. you know once i build like a nice solid just fan base that so maybe in the near future when i do go, do, drop a gospel song mm-hmm. i don't think I've, i dropped it now they would kind of listen okay i, I hear you i hear you, know? you i hear you i hear you just because i think they'll listen yeah but they won't take it in take it in the way i want them to take mm. it in because yeah i feel like they need to watch my journey mm-hmm. as an artist they need mm. to watch it see what i go through see the vulnerabilities all of that stuff and then yeah, yeah. when i drop it it'll make sense and they'll be able to connect with it because they've been on the journey with me that makes sense yeah. that makes sense okay and the fourth song full what's song. on your playlist oh what's the full song now <laughs> you got two more so <laughs> <laughs> the full song when i leave you may i fuck you forever and ever oh Cheat and you cheat. Hey, mm. how me? Yeah, that's all. Okay, yeah. Because me, I'm a fan of Dexter Daps, but yeah. you know them. I'm one of them people who's like, I'll sing the song, but I always forget the name of it. Like yes, you like your first song. Hundred percent. I'm always that person, but yeah, I love that song. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously Dexter, he seems like one of your. I don't know if you call it goats, but like one of the people that that you listen to the most maybe yeah man he's a he's, he's a good man mm-hmm. he's sick at what he does sick at writing music sick at making music yeah yeah sick at that's what he does so yeah it's kinda, what yeah. other artists maybe known or not known could we be put onto that is in kind of that genre the dance hall vibe that you think we should be knowing about um right now i've got like hmm there's an artist named IQ I like. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you haven't heard of him, yeah. maybe, maybe we should. If you haven't heard of that up. artist IQ, just kind of look him up. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of look him up, just see what's going on there, you know. Yeah. But yeah, uh, there's an artist named Ziddy. Mm-hmm. Skeet is another one. He's oh, sick. Skeet. He's yeah. on, on the way up at the moment. Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, um, yeah. And. I think those are those are good choices. Yeah, those are those are my choices. Those too. are the those good are, choices. Yeah. Um, and I just um, wanted to mention, because it is like a. 
I would say it's a big accomplishment. I saw on your Instagram that mm-hmm. um, is it a song that you helped write? The song on Top Boy. Oh yeah, and it's my song on Top Boy. It's your song on Top Boy. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to congratulate you Thank for you, that. Man. Um, how did you feel when you one you knew that it was gonna be on Top Boy and seeing it for yourself? I'll be honest, it's someone kind of kept it a secret from me until I kind of saw it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but when I saw it, I'm excited, of course. And then, like, you know, sitting at home watching with your mom, mm-hmm. I don't think she, my mom knew she was, it was gonna actually be in there. Mm-hmm. We didn't know what episode, and then not actually not happen. Everyone started watching it before us. And oh, this, you was a late one. Yeah, so everyone started sending it to me saying, "Yo, bro, you know your song is in." This. So I didn't know, but like, I didn't know where it was gonna be, what episode yeah, yeah, yeah. or what song. Then it came in like a scene that everyone kind of was like, "Oh." All right, cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, yeah. That's lit, that's lit. So congrats for that. Thank you. Um, and let's finish off with the final song. It's got to be the best song. Yes. Um, for your bedroom playlist, the one that's, you know. Um, IQ, Slow Down. Okay. Slow down, not nobody girl, not nobody girl. Slow down, not nobody girl, not nobody girl. Yeah. Slow down, not nobody girl, not nobody girl. Yeah, okay, I want everyone to clap for that because <laughs> that was live in the flesh. In the flesh. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. It was no. a pleasure to thank meet you. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you so much. And thank you for your performances. They were honestly amazing. It was amazing to see Dancehall in such like a, a different vibe. A different vibe, 100%. Yeah, 100%. And you guys, hearing it right here in the studio was crazy. Definitely go check out socials. They'll be down below yes. in the box anyways. Thank you, the and prints everywhere. Yeah. IQ Thank the you. prince everywhere. Slow down, not nobody girl, not nobody girl. Yeah, slow down, not nobody girl, not nobody girl. Yeah, slow down, not nobody girl. 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 Slow down, not nobody Say just reach the morning When your money is cheating Baby come we come for money We know we keep it a secret Make him know say you me a fuck it One fee bong a time for your fun Left your man and come for your one One fee bong